uh, I'm a I'm somewhat senior, no, I'm a professor at the uh, Department of Zoology and Environmental Sciences at the University of Colombo, and I'm uh, also a committee member of the Wildlife and Nature Protection Society, one of the oldest uh, uh, nature-based organizations uh, on the planet. As well as I'm the vice president of the Sri Lanka Group of Sri Lanka, which is uh, the partner organization of the largest uh, environment organization uh, in the planet, which is the BirdLife like International. Uh, so I spent about uh, three days uh, uh, at the Kaleti uh, Estate, uh, uh, looking for animals, plants. Uh, I had a team of about uh, eight. Uh, uh, researchers with me, uh, most of them are either postgraduate students of mine or students of the University of Colombo. Uh, we found a uh, fairly amazing uh, diversity here. Uh, to me, my personal favorite is the, the Legs Hawk Eagle, which is the largest uh, raptor uh, in Sri Lanka. It is endemic to Sri Lanka and the Western Ghats, uh, Nilgiris of uh, India. A very large, uh, about 30 size uh, uh, eagle. Uh, it needs a very specific environment condition, it needs forest to breed, it needs a very healthy uh, food web to uh, fight to sustain it's because it's, it's a large mammal eater, it eats monkeys and that sort of large uh, uh, medium sized mammals. And so there's at least a pair lives in the Kaleti. I think this is to me the highlight. Also uh, uh, talking about the forest. Uh, we saw uh, very large two uh, the dipterocarps, uh, uh, dipterocarpus hispidus, uh, the blue horror. Uh, the dipterocarps, dipterocarps are very interesting plants because they are coming from uh, uh, ancient Guandano rainforest, uh, about uh, 200 million year old forest uh, that we were part of uh, uh, when we were part of uh, Australia, Africa, and uh, India and Madagascar. At the, um, Antarctica. Uh, so, so we, then we moved to the tropics, uh, and uh, we, to get in, during that journey, uh, these uh, large trees also came with us. And uh, in this skeleton, we can see uh, about at least about 20 species of uh, different dipterocarps. Among that, the largest dipterocarps in Sri Lanka are the dipterocarpus hispidus, and they, you, you can find them here. I think so. We have the largest eagle in the, in the country as well as the largest dipteroka plant or the pretty much the largest plant, uh, tree in the country both found in this uh, place is quite amazing and uh, about smaller animals we had uh, we've seen a scotophilus bat uh, insectivore large insectivorous bat uh, very interesting find i think and in the stream there were at least about seven species of fish that we identified uh, over the past few days uh, in the forest, we saw Serpophora aspera, the rhinoceros horned lizard, which it is, it is an endangered uh, lizard, uh, uh, very important uh, component in Sri Lankan biodiversity, especially uh, some of the most threatened species in the country. So, so together, what we see is, uh, is a very rich, lush rainforest environment, uh, uh, and the tea, uh, cinnamon, and uh, fruit orchard nicely nestled within uh, and uh, the, the community empowerment and uh, socially responsible agriculture that uh, the Kaliti maintains it I, I think is phenomenal because it, it basically doesn't destroy the system but it enriches it and nourish it and the organic based fertilizer uh, would, uh, would not uh, uh, spoil the streams or the uh, soil uh, beneath it and that is the, I think the key to have a, a diverse food web uh, intact within a plantation uh, like this. So all in all as a scientist uh, uh, studied uh, life on the planet in uh, all continents uh, except Antarctica. I've seen many places in Amazon, in Congo and in Borneo and I've seen the destruction of uh, uh, in Bornean rainforest and in Amazonian rainforest uh, done in plant, the name of plantations. But uh, at the same time I've seen a very uh, socially and ecologically uh, responsible and meaningful plantations across the planet and uh, I certainly, uh, uh, I would say that this is one of that uh, nice experiences that I had uh, because uh, this plantation sustained life.
uh, and uh, extract uh, activity of it uh, without uh, harming it. So uh, I applaud the, all the planners, owners, and uh, and then the staff who made that a reality. Thank you.